On the 27th of September 1925, on the day of Vijay Dashmi, a social organization working for the cause of Hindus, the Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh or the RSS was formed in Nagpur under the leadership of its first Sar Sangh Chalak or the chief Keshav Bariram Hedgevar. He was a protege of Congress leader Bal Krishna Shivram Munje, a close associate of Bal Gangadhar Tilak. It was Munje who would convince Hedgevar to complete his medical studies in Calcutta, where he would go on to become involved in revolutionary societies such as the Anushilan Samiti. On his return to Nagpur from Calcutta, Hedgevar would become involved in local politics under the mentorship of Munje. In December 1920, the annual session of the All India Congress Committee was held in Nagpur, in which Mahatma Gandhi emerged as the undisputed leader. The Congress adopted the resolution of the non-cooperation movement against the British Raj under Gandhi's leadership. Interestingly, as a local leader, it was Dr. Hedgebar who was one of the volunteers in charge of making the arrangements for the 1920 Congress session. And he set up a small group of volunteers, which he called the Rashtriya Swayamsevak Dal. Their uniform, white shirt, khaki shorts and a black khaki cap, much like the modern-day RSS uniform. Five years later, the RSS would officially be announced. Between 1918 and 1921, the mass mobilization of Muslims in India as part of the Khilafat movement supported by Mahatma Gandhi and the Indian National Congress led to a counter-reaction among Hindu political leaders who went on to establish the Akhil Bharatiya Hindu Mahasabha in 1921. Munje and Hedgevar became part of the Hindu Mahasabha. 1921 also saw the horrific Mopla riots in the Malabar region of Kerala, in which thousands of Hindus lost their lives at the hands of the Moplas, a dominant Muslim community in the state. In 1923, India witnessed 11 communal riots while in 1924 and 25, there were 16 more communal flare-ups. Hedgevar was frustrated by the response of the Hindu Mahasabha and resigned from the party after the Nagpur riots of 1923. Finally, on the 27th of September 1925, on the day of the Shera, the RSS was officially founded with five members, Hedgevar, Munje, V.D. Savarkar's brother Ganesh Damodar Savarkar, L.V. Paranspe and B.B. Tholkar. In May 1926, Hedgevar introduced the concept of daily shakhas as the first permanent units of the RSS in Nagpur city. The following year, the concept of pracharaks or officers who renounce their family and careers and work full-time for the cause of the RSS was set up. Hedgevar made sure the RSS remained a purely social organization and refused to enter active politics or join political movements. As his health deteriorated with age, he handed over the responsibilities of the RSS to Madhav Rao Sadashiv Rao Golvalkar, who became the second Sarsang Chalak in 1940. It was Golvalkar who made the RSS a pan-India force with shakhas across India. He was one of the strongest proponents of Hindutva and a Hindu Rashtra. After India's independence in 1947, the RSS, which had traditionally eschewed politics and maintained its identity as a purely social organization, began to support the Janasangha founded by Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee. Over the decades, the Janasangha would evolve into the Bharatiya Janata Party. With the establishment of organizations such as the Vishwa Hindu Parishad, the Swadeshi Jagran Manch, 
द बजरंग दल राष्ट्रीय किसान संघ एंड द राष्ट्रीय मजदूर संघ द आर एस एस हैज इवॉल्व इन टू द फाउंटेन हेड ऑफ वॉट वी नो एज द संघ परिवार टूडे